Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is find longest special substring that occurs thrice. So in this question, we're given a string S that consists of lowercase English letters and a string is called special if it is made up of only a single character. So for example, ABC is not special whereas the strings D, 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 Z, Z and F are special because here there is only one type of character, here too and obviously here. And we have to return the length of the longest set special substring of s which occurs at least three times and if there is no such substring we have to return minus one and a substring by definition is a contiguous non-empty sequence of characters within a string now let's take these examples and see how we can solve this question so let's take the first example we are given the string and the longest substring which is appearing three times is a a and its length is two so we return two as the output in this string there is no such character which is appearing more than three times so we return minus one and here we can see a is a single character substring which is appearing three times and none of the combination of substrings is appearing more than three times so we return the length of the substring which is one and a's length is one so one is the output so obviously we are going to deal with one constraint that we have to count the number of occurrences of a substring so for that we are going to use a hash map to store all the substrings and the number of occurrences so taking a look at the code this is the string a a a a and i'm creating a hash map so let's first build the hash map so i will start with nested for loops i will be starting at 0 and j will be starting at i plus 1 so i is 0 and j is 1 and now we extract the substring using the substring method so uh, 0 comma 1 substring is a we check if it is present inside the map no so send a and set its frequency to 1 so this block is executed first now we move the j pointer j is here so substring of 0 comma 2 so 0 1 2 3 so the substring of 0 comma 2 gives you a a check if it is present no it's not present so this will be executed add a and set its frequency to 1 the next iteration j moves forward j is 3 substring of 0 comma 3 will give you these three characters check if it is present inside the map no it's not present so this will be executed so i put that substring and set its count to 1 in the next iteration j will move forward because j will move until it's equal to length so j is 4 substring of 0 comma 4 will give you the entire substring check if it is present no it's not so this will be executed i add it and set its frequency to 1 and the next iteration i will change i will become 1 and j is resetted back to i plus 1 so j will start from 2 so now we start making substrings from i and j is 2 substring from 1 to 2 will give you a check if a is present yes a is present increment its current count current count is 1 with 1 so a will become 2 and increment j for the next iteration next iteration j is here j's value is 3 substring of 1 comma 3 will give you these two characters so check if a is present inside the map yes a is present so increment its count from 1 to 2 next iteration move j forward j is pointing at 4 substring of 1 comma 4 will give you the last three characters check if a is present yes it's present so get its current count current count is 1 so add 1 to it so this will become 2 now in the next iteration i will be incremented i will become 2 and j will become 2 plus 1 3 so i is pointing at 2 and j is pointing at 3 substring of 2 comma 3 will give you a check if a is present yes a is present so increment its count 2 plus 1 it will become 3 next iteration j will move forward j is 4 substring of 2 comma 4 will give you the last two characters check if it is present yes it's present so increment its count from 2 to 3 in the next iteration i will be changed from 2 to 3 and j is 3 plus 1 which is 4 so i is pointing at 3 and j is pointing at 4 so this is important to remember j is less than or equal to length now substring of 3 comma 4 will give you the last a check if a is present inside the map yes it is present so increment its count in the next iteration i will become 4 and this condition will fail so we come out of the for loop now i create a variable called length which will be our output which is initially 0 so this will keep track of the longest substring which is special so this part of the code we are using to fill the map where the key is going to be the string and value is going to be the count of that string 
which is an integer value. Now I'm going to use the map.entry interface to access entries in the map. So we have four entries, one, two, three, four, and we'll process one by one from top to down. So we'll start with the first entry. We get its key using the entry.get key. So str is a, and we'll get its value. And first entry's value is four, so this is four. We check if that count is greater than or equal to three because that is the condition that special substring should appear more than or equal to three times. So this condition is passing four is greater than three. I create a set to check if that substring which we extracted from the map has only unique characters that is is made up of only one type of character. So I use a for loop to iterate through the string str.length is one. So I access that character. And now we reach the end of the for loop, so we come out of it. We check if the size of the set is 1, because hash set does not contain duplicate values. If you keep on adding values into it, and if still the size is equal to 1, it means that string is made up of one type of character. Here size is 1, so we update length. Length is equal to max of current length minus this string's length. Current length is equal to 0, and string's length is equal to 1. So max of 0, 0,1 is 1, so length will be updated to 1. Now we finish the first entry. We go to the second entry now. Second entry, key is AA and value is 3. We check if 3 is greater than or equal to 3. Yes. So this is also a valid special substring. Now we have to check the second criteria if it is a special substring, that if that substring is made up of a single type of character. So I'm declaring a new set again. So we'll get a new set for every entry. Now I'm going to access the string. So string is AA, right? So I iterate from 0 to 1. I get one character at a time and add it. Now I now I add J into the set. A is already there, so it won't be added. And I reach the end. Now I come out of the for loop and check if the size of the set is 1. Yes, it is still 1. So this condition is satisfied. Now I update the length. Current length is 1 and string's length is 2. So max among them is 2. So length value will be updated from 1 to 2. And now we go for the next entry. Now in the third entry, we get that string AAA and its value is 2. Now we check if 2 is greater than or equal to 3. No. So this condition won't pass. And we go to the next iteration. The next iteration, we take the next entry. That entry is key is 4As and that value is 1. We check if 1 is greater than or equal to 3. No, so again we go to the next iteration and we finished all the entries inside the map. So we come out of the for loop and now we check if length value has been updated here. If it hasn't been updated and it was still zero, that means we didn't find any special substring. So we return minus one as the output. But here in this case, length is equal to zero. This condition is failing. So else block will be executed and length has the value 2, so 2 will be returned as the output for this question, which is the expected output here. So 2 will be returned as the output. So here we are filling the map, so this is the first step, and then we are extracting the entries in the map, and we are checking each entry, and in each step we are checking current substring count is greater than or equal to 3, that is the first condition, and then checking here, if I am adding all the characters in that substring into a set, and I'm checking the set size if it is equal to 1 to check if the if it is made up of one type of character only. So these are the two steps combined. And finally, I'm checking if the length value has been updated at least once or not. If it hasn't been updated, I return minus 1. If it has been updated, I return the length value. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n square, where n is the length of the string given to us. The space complexity is O of n because we are using a hash map to solve this question. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.